When Buddhism first came to China, it brought with it stupors. Small towers made of stone that housed the ashes of monks who had achieved a high level of sainthood. Well, the Chinese then took these and turned them into pagodas using their own supreme architecture, which goes to show you how the ancient Chinese embraced Buddhism. So here I am in the middle of the desert in Dubai. I am off to get some traditional food, and the only way to do it is in this thing, and it's going to be a real roller coaster. My life is in our driver Kabir's hands right now. It is absolutely beautiful. I must tell you, the scenery is just something I've never seen. It looks like a film set. It's just too beautiful, and at this time of night when the sun is setting, it just looks brilliant. But I must say, fear has set in a little bit. Oh my god! <laughs> it's a real roller coaster ride. As you can see, it's not always fun and games. They do get stuck, even though they told us they don't. And they try and run you over the whole time. When I first came across the concept of Su, literally meaning humbleness and simplicity, a non-intrusive way of life, I wondered why Buddhists had to make statues this awesome, because it's kind of self-defeating, don't you think? Well, that was my idea until standing here, just beneath it. I'm just in awe. It's immense. I cannot explain how this is looking down, embracing, almost being protective, and just standing here has got the most amazing feeling. Here I am in Dubai, I'm standing by the Dubai Creek. I'm going to meet up with head chef Louis of the Sheraton Hotel. He's going to show me the souks and around the city. Well, I'm in a Taoism temple and it's a fascinating story because a hundred years ago, the abbot decided to set up and convert to Buddhism. But what he did is he opened a Buddhist temple next door, but kept this one and restored it, which just amazes me because it shows you how the cultures really did embrace Buddhism, which is fascinating because normally when a culture comes into another country, it's with war or anger, and here it was just embraced. So it's a really wonderful story. Here I am in Jumeirah Beach, Dubai, and one of the many activities here is fishing. So I'm off to do some deep sea fishing, see what I can catch. What are you doing? Catching small fish? No, no, big ones. You're catching big ones like that? Barracuda. Barracuda? Yeah. With your hand? Yeah. Okay, that sounds a little... <laughs> I've got something. All right. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. I was doing that. Well, it looks like the only thing I'm going to catch is the sun, but maybe that's not a bad thing. I am here in a Buddhist school with a Su lunchbox. I don't quite remember lunchboxes being this fancy when I was at school. It does, however, look like they put me in the right age group for my learning abilities. So, what's your name? Melody. Melody, do you like the lunch here? Yes. Do you? Does everyone like the lunch here? Yes! <laughs> well, let's see. Come on. 